Are you looking for a really fun idea for a spring card perfect for Mother's Day? Or your gardening friends or any spring event, all these flowers, uh, you could include a packet of seeds, a basket of flowers, anything. This is a, just a fun little card where the message pops up. So that comes out. And what's really cool is we even attached a thing to the back. So this card stands. Because that's the only problem with the other card, it just lays down. But if you add a little thing like this. So it's Karen Titus stamping on the back porch. And let's get started. This is what you'll need, but you can go to my website, karentitus.com or stampingonthebackporch.com. They'll take you there. There's a project sheet that you can download. So I do a project sheet with everything that I do. So you can uh, download any of those and stay on track. So my one by seven is going to be my easel for the back. The four by eight is my flower pot. And then these two that are a quarter inch different are for the inside. Now you could just make this white and right on. You wouldn't even need this second layer. So we will get started. We'll set those apart and we're gonna start with our four by eight. I am going to score it at three and a half and seven. This is the shape for my flower pot. So isn't that cute? I just think that's really fun. Now I'm going to just mark in, let's see. I didn't know my lighting, see if I can make this any lighter. I'm going to mark in just a half inch on each side. Sometimes when I'm making these, I don't even mark them. And you know what I should have done? What would be smarter would be to mark on the back side. So if you see any little, but this is a dark color. So if you see, and, and you know, cut from there, because then if you see anything, or you could use a pencil and then erase it, but I'm not being that fussy. So when I made a whole bunch of these, I just basically just kind of did it visually because these could be hand-thrown flower pots, you know, that they could be, you know, a little variation in shape. So this is the cover. I want that to stay, the flip down the rim of the pot. I want that to stay. And then this is... The flower pot. So I'm going to put one line in there. And I'm having a lot of trouble seeing. So I might just do my guesswork. I think I'm going to just do my guesswork. It's all good. It's just a little dark in here. It is a dark and rainy day here. And, um, and I'm going to do the same and we'll just see how close it gets. Same thing. I'm going to put this part right in there. And then I, oh, I just want a little bit to go off down there. Whoa, didn't get that quite right though. So let me, let me change it. See, and now at this time I cut off more. So it just doesn't matter. And I'm going to see how it turned out. <laughs> it's always interesting. Uh, oh, I can live with that. Not perfect, but totally fine. So now to keep this closed, I am going to just tie some twine around. So I often like to go around two or three times if I'm doing something like this. My best ribbon or twine saving tip is always to leave it on the roll. The, and then, because then I will do this part and I will only have, and I will just cut off just the exact amount. I'm going to put it over to the side so I have room for my flowers to hang over. And... Do a little bow, and of course, I could leave a knot if you didn't want to do a bow, and we'll cut this off. So, how easy is that? Here's my flower pot. I could decorate this, I could do other colors. I could do, you know, a lot of times I'll do copper. I think copper is a perfect color, but I really liked with this set, I liked doing uh, the eggplant. So, uh, but anything will work. So, next. This is going to be my inside part. So I'm just going to attach those. And slip it inside. Isn't that cool? There's just that nice, fun little opening right there. And now I'm going to build my flowers. So I have all these flowers from Flowering Zinnia. And I'm going to put this out here to kind of see how I did it but really I'm going to just play around so I these are these are all fussy cut from the paper and 
here is the only thing that matters. If I, I usually put out a, here we go. I do have an envelope because I want it to fit in the envelope. So you can either measure, you know, we aren't going to want it bigger than um, five and a half. So sometimes I measure it on my scoreboard, but I also think it's easy just to build from right here because I know I want this to fit into my card. And I'm going to want to go pretty high up on something, but that might be just my middle one. On this one, I just did the middle one. So let's build this way and see. And then I'm going to, let's see, this one, I would like one to go out over the edge. You can see how these are going to just pop in. And let's see um, what other ones I have here. This would give me a lot of flowers looking down. I don't necessarily want a lot of flowers. So this one will work. Okay. So do you see how both of these are going to come down? And then I can add another flower in the middle. Okay, so we will get started. I'm going to start with this one. And I use glue dots for this. I'm just going to put, I'll put it on low enough. And then I'm going to tuck this in here and make sure it's below the line. Okay, that'll give me as much height as I can. And then this one, I want to make sure it stays on here. So it looks like if I do a couple right in here. That will work. And I want to cover the white. Let's see. I like it to be up fairly high. So it's kind of a robust card. Now let's see if I, nope, I didn't. <laughs> I was going to say I might have glued it to the thing, but then I didn't pull it off. And then next one, we'll do this one. So this one is going to come down around here. So think of all kinds of, if you have any flower punches, all kinds of things would work for this. I got to line this up again because I don't want it to extend too far this way either. So you can see I'm just watching that both ways. Perfect. And then I can take, I still have all of these. Um, I don't know, that looks a little, no, that's okay. It's okay to have that there. Uh, let's see, this, I, I, I could do this one. That would actually be okay. Otherwise, I like this kind of smaller one. Okay, I'm going to put that in the middle. This would be, you know, we love uh, giving flower pots and um, things full of flowers for, and usually I get things like that for my kids on Mother's Day, which is just really fun. So it, this just makes me think of this, which also means this would be a great thank you card if somebody gives you like hanging pot of flowers or something fun like that. So here is, whoop. Oh, did you see what I did? Oh, yes. I have want that one down a little too low. Okay. That'll work. Now it'll work. And to see, I'll pull that out. And so here is where I can add words. And I just took the sending love from the country garden because I thought this, country flowers, because I thought this makes sense whether I use it as a thank you or a Mother's Day card or anything at all. So I'm just putting this wherever it's going to fit in here, and then I'll still have room to write a little bit. Okay, so here is the basic card, and this could be left like this. So this would be a great way if you just want to do a flat card. Now, if you want to add the base on the back, I just took a one inch by seven inch, and set those aside for another card. And I'm going to score this, I'm going to do two inches. And again, this could vary, but I have it one inch wide, and I'm going to score it two four, and six. So now when I fold it up, you can see I'm going to have a little triangle. So that is going to be my, my easel. I'm going to just use glue dots. And I'm going to put this on. Now, I could have a taller triangle. You know, none, measurements are never exact. Always feel free to play with them. And then we love to see what you do with, with anything you make that um, over in the back porch stampers. And especially when I show something, it's so fun to see. If you make a flower pot card like this, we would love to see it. Because your version will be different. And that's how I believe we all get more creative when we just share ideas and have fun. So then I'm going to just put this in the back on the bottom. 
I chose an equal triangle partly just because it's just really easy um, for measuring. And now I have my uh, my two flower pot cards that will also stand up stuck right inside. So thanks for watching and be sure to go to my website to get the, oh, you know, this is interesting because look at their different sizes. Okay. I'm showing you right there. So this original one, must have a little, this one doesn't have as wide of a lip. So we'll have to see what I did. I'll put the, the measurements for this one because that's actually what I wrote out for the project sheet. But this is actually pretty awesome because it just shows how you can vary things. You can add things, delete things, change your style, anything you want. So thank you for joining me for this little time. And if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks.